How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffle Rallet, and welcome back to a brand new video guys. Today we're going to take a look ourselves at something that I think you guys may enjoy, which is a big old rumor posted by somebody called Marco Maro on Twitter, as well as some of the things he's posted. It's in regards to all sorts of Nintendo things, including Pokemon, and I thought we'd go through what he said. Now, I'm not sure if this guy is some sort of insider, he's followed by a lot of people I, I also follow who talk about a lot of insider stuff, so who knows? We're just going to go through what he has to say though, all that sort of stuff, so sit back, relax, but first, a message from today's sponsor. Yes, this is my opportunity. I shall take all your Pokemon information and sell it to Team Rocket. <laughs> oh, this is way too easy. <laughs> Wait, what's that? What are you doing? Oh, my God. It's NordVPN. Yes, tis me I. Oh, please. NordVPN. No. Don't take me, please. I shall stop oh, you God. with your insolence. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Yes, this video is brought to you by NordVPN. NordVPN is a fantastic VPN service that will help you keep yourself secure and also away from prying eyes. NordVPN has super fast servers all across the world for you to use and gain access to. They have amazing cybersecurity to keep you safe and also to encrypt all your data with their double data encryption. This is all to help you increase your anonymity. But there are also other use cases for NordVPN. For example, I currently moved from Sweden to Bosnia, and when I'm watching Netflix, I can get access to certain shows here in Bosnia that I did have back in Sweden. So what I do, I use NordVPN, set myself to Sweden, and guess what? I got access to those shows again. So, if you want to stay safe and also gain access to awesome things that you can't get in your current country, well guess what? We got something perfect for you. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, there is an awesome limited offer from NordVPN, which is their Black Friday 68% off plus three months for free offer. Offer, which is fantastic. Now keep in mind this is a limited offer during Black Friday so go get yourself this two-year plan plus you get three extra months for free by taking this offer and you get yourself well all the awesome features that NordVPN has to offer for that amount of time right now. Either way, use our link and code down below. Either way, thanks to NordVPN. Let's get into the rest of the video. All right, thanks once again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video, and let's get into the content of today. So, this is the rumor we're going to take a look at. It's a pretty hefty one. Uh, it's a pretty long one here, and shout out to, by the way, to uh, B. Kura, uh, B. Kurayami 3 for actually sending this my way. So, here's what this guy said. I've been asked so many times about the new style boutique for Switch. It's coming in 2021, but was meant to be released this year. The game is uh, almost complete to this, uh, complete, so this this is another Pikmin 3 Deluxe situation. Also, NOE is trying to localize the remakes of Famicom Detective, uh, Detective Club, but the first game will be released in Japan in the second quarter. Initial plans was to release it in December. Bayonetta 3 is planned to be uh, released uh, the second half, I guess, of 2021. Uh, PG is making few ports to switch, some of them for 2021. A new Pikmin game should be shown in 2021. Kirby next big game is promising, the, uh, promising and looking to be released next year. Donkey Kong Country 6, Captain Toad sequel, and few more new IPs are being affected by COVID, making uh, making pushback uh, of development for six to ten months. Wario Land uh, VB uh, remake project is dead since the studio bankrupted. Wario Land franchise is now again in good feel hands uh, with a game early in production for Switch. Also, Wario Land Shake HD for Switch is on the table. Metroid 2D is another game that is mostly done, just waiting to be a TBA. The game was in development since, 20, since late 2017. It was meant to be cross-released between 3DS Switch, but in 2018, Nintendo shut down any remain, uh, remaining 3DS projects and focused on the Switch. It was supposed, uh, supposed to be a, to be a TBA this year, but uh, due to you know the virus, make uh, making things uh, slow down. It's gonna be released uh, the first half of 2021, if uh, not more delays. Uh, MP Collection, uh, I guess Metro Prime Collection, is still on hold, waiting uh, for the fourth installment to make big progress and release both with less than one year of difference. Uh, Metro Prime 4 is aiming for 2022, which I mean, fair enough, but I would want to see some information about that beyond like just this stuff like here. Like actually, we haven't seen anything uh, since they announced that they're like you know. Uh, resetting or changing studio, right? And restarting the project. So, let's continue. Also, WarioWare uh, is another one of those games that has mostly been finished, waiting for a 2021 release. Uh, the Fire Emblem remake should be announced early next year to be released in the second quarter summer. Paper Mario 64 remake is still happening? Wait, 64. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's still happening. Um, IS is trying to bring Advanced Wars franchise back. They've been trying for a while. Maybe uh, we will see something in 2021. A part of that, they've been making also a small game similar to Pushmo. And here's what we're waiting for. Pokemon presentation early next year, focusing in new Pokemon Snap Spring, minor games like Detective Pikachu, and a Pokemon collection February, Pokemon Gen 4 Remake, and Let's Go Sequel 2021-2022, TBA, 
later in 2021. Uh, I guess they will be decided. Now, this is where he says some Pokemon stuff, right? So he says the presentation is going to be early next year, which we already know the presentation is going to be around uh, probably most likely Pokemon Day, right? That's the most logical time they can do it. Uh, so it's probably going to be Pokemon Day. But on top of that, uh, something I want to point out here and something we want to keep in mind also is that uh, this right here, as he mentions in a different tweet, it's not all going to be released in a singular year, right? These things can be spaced out. So he's trying to say that there's going to be, of course, news about Pokemon Snap, which we need info on. Uh, there's going to be Detective Pikachu, you know, a minor games like Detective Pikachu, like other ones, announced, and a Pokemon collection, which uh, would be released in, I guess, February or announced in February. That's a bit of an iffy question right there. I'm not sure what's going on. But it also wouldn't be surprising if they released a collection game somewhere in you know early on the year because i actually suggested this during one of my streams like i think they may actually release a collection early in the year because uh, that makes the most sense like it's, it's a logical time frame uh and then pokemon gen 4 remakes and let's go sequel those are the ones where like he's, it feels like kind of weird that he's mentioning both of them because those are the two options that po people mostly have you know of what's going to happen next it's either you know gen 4 remakes or let's go to you know let's go uh, remake or whatever or let's go to right or you know let's go johto sequels whatever you want to call them uh, it's like those are the only two options so it's no wonder you know like if you mention both of course that's kind of like absolving yourself of the potential being wrong there but then he did mention this though i read so many people thinking that everything i put out yesterday is for 2021 just know maybe i should be explaining it a bit better even if it's crazy to do this is when nintendo can delay things or keep their games finished for nearly one year till they decide to release it uh first half 2021 new pokemon snap spring pokemon collection in february okay so the pokemon snap game is not actual date given just february famicom detective club remakes at least in japan zelda breath of the wild sequel april if uh, if it's not delayed which actually would be perfect time to release it metroid 2, uh, 2d if not more delays already finished new ip not announced uh fire emblem remake spring summer okay the second half 2021 bayonetta 3 zelda collection zelda wii u ports okay kirby uh donkey kong country 6 Pokemon Gen 4 Remakes in the second half, which would make sense to get the Gen 4 Remakes. So actually, a Pokemon Collection at the start of the year, and then a Gen 4 at the end of the year is actually the most logical thing, because I've already said this, but I think a Gen 1, 2, and 3 collection of like, you know, Ruby, you know, for example, Red, Blue, you know, uh, Gold, Silver, and Ruby, Sapphire, you know, as a collection would be mwah, perfect. It literally would be perfection. It would be like the most perfect thing they could possibly do. It would just be awesome. So personally, I'm on board for this. Honestly, I'm really on board for this to, to be the case. And then having Gen 4 Remix at the end of the year, on, you know, at November. Because then at least we have something to play and do until those remakes come out. Because uh, it's going to be a long time until then. So he continues uh, then saying that somewhere in 2021, WarioWare mostly finished, Style Boutique already finished, PG Ports, uh, some I, uh, IS eShop game, uh, Captain Toad sequel, like delayed to 2022. Then 2022 plus is Pokemon Let's Go sequel, Detective Pikachu sequel, Wario Land, new Pikmin game, maybe shown in 2021, Zelda Oracles remake, Paper Mario remake, Advanced Wars, maybe shown in 2021, Metroid Prime collection, maybe late 2021 all depends on metroid prime 4 development and then metroid prime 4 of course there's more games like camelot next game uh, next game that unless they have two different games and another mario sports game they can't uh, the rest can't speak too much about them and there you go and yeah that's basically that's pretty much it for this rumor i guess uh, and again remember it's a rumor we can't really call this a leak because well none of this has been you know, confirmed. Until it's all confirmed, uh, we can't really call this a leak. We can come back to this if it, if this stuff does get confirmed. But also keep in mind, if this is actual legit information, if this person does legitimately know something here, then remember, as he also mentions, something you got to keep in mind with leaks and stuff, or even from legitimate leakers and, and confirmed leakers from before, is that plans change. I mean, just think about your own life, guys. Just think about your own life, day-to-day -day life, and how oftentimes your plans may change from what you initially wanted to do to something totally different having to happen, just because life is like that, you know? Like, things aren't set in stone. Even with companies, things have to change. Like, for example, what happened in the world this year, that really caused a lot of change for a lot of different companies and a lot of different people, individuals, everything. Everybody kind of had to change their approach to everything and change their plans somewhat. So, keep that in mind. But yeah, that's it for the video, though, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys want to check out this rumor on your own, it's going to be linked down below to the tweet and uh, yeah i'll see you all the next time ne you know next time lads make sure to check out nordvpn our sponsors links are didn't you know d d d down below jeez i can't speak properly but yeah links are down below thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next one peace out and bye bye ladies and gentlemen